here at the Plasson booth, and uh, John Cavito is going to uh, give us some information about what Plasson has been working on. And thank you, John, for being with us today. Appreciate it. I notice you have uh, obviously an armor footprint and a, and a capability, but I see on your your, uh, your vehicle here today, we've got a sensor. Can you tell us a little bit about what that that sensor might be yep. used so, for for the so army? What is there that you can get in addition to just protecting the crew? but giving the crew situational awareness because situational awareness is greater survivability. And maybe we can just yep. step right over yep. here to give an example. And what we've got here, all of our vehicles nowadays have some sort of battle management system that's inside the vehicle. And so we're not trying to come up and develop a new battle management system, but we want to be able to give the current battle management system that exists on a vehicle platform the ability to give real-time information of what is happening as the crew is inside maybe taking rounds. When you're in a 30-ton vehicle and you're shot with a, with a 7.62 round, for example, you may not even know that you've been hit. But if your armored was censored and you now can be able to, I mean, I'm just going to take this hammer right here and replicate perhaps a, a gunfire shot. As the vehicle is hit on the side, you notice inside right away to the battle management system, it's telling you that you were just hit on the left rear panel of the vehicle. Your armor integrity is now at 92%. The slew to Q camera on the top of the vehicle went directly to the where that where that round just came from and gives the crew inside exact situational awareness of where to then be able to consolidate fire. So now as that battle management system is talking to other vehicles that are in that convoy, now your rear vehicle, your, uh, your rear vehicle and lead vehicle can now concentrate fires in that area, let the vehicle that was just engaged perhaps get out of the, get out of the kill zone. Does that, does that information go to the other vehicles automatically? Does someone on the hit vehicle have to tell the other vehicles? Well, again, the idea here is whatever that battle management system is, it's on that vehicle. It's what those vehicles have. What we're providing oh, is we're providing the sensor array that is able to plug a plug and play. We don't want to replicate someone's, we don't want to add an extra screen. Whatever screens or whatever inside that vehicle, we want to be able to give a plug and play solution that will go right to that so that that vehicle commander and if they happen to be in a network that the adjacent vehicles will also know exactly what just happened with that engagement scenario. Yeah, so another thing that I would really like to talk about is Plasson's hybrid slat fence and it's it's a it's a bar armor. It replaces the idea is that this would replace your standard bar armor or Q nets that would be on a vehicle like a striker or some big combat vehicle that's really designed to stop those those RPG rounds. And if you think about those big armored bars that are go on, you've seen them on those big platforms. Soldiers do more damage to those than the RPGs ever do because all it has to do is hit a concrete barrier inside an urban environment or a big tree. And as it gets crushed in, if it's the normal bar armor, it stays in that crushed that crushed geometry. Well, as you see, Plasson's hybrid slat fence here is very flexible. It's very it's easily maintainable. As you can see, it can it can pull in. It will flex. As it hits something, it flexes and then it comes right back to the original geometry, the perfect geometry meant to stop that RPG round with the perfect spacing between. The next thing that's really nice is if you do have an engagement, as opposed to having to replace an entire side of a bar armor using blow torches and using welding to put a new piece on, it's just a couple wrenches to take off the broken slat pieces, put in the new ones, and you're rolling again. Well, that's terrific, and it takes uh, human nature into account. It really does. <laughs> it takes human nature into account. And one of the ideas behind this is the proprietary design of these composite bars that you see right here are really designed to, to give you a greater statistical confidence. So your normal bar armor is about 50% confidence level. This is ranging at about 65% confidence level. So not only is it a statistically greater performance capability, it's also significantly lighter than your traditional bar armor. And the maintainability of this is also significantly greater. And if you need to maintain the vehicle itself and get to some aspect of the vehicle, with a couple of quick release pins, as you might see right down here, you pop out a couple pins, you can disconnect it, you can roll up the system, take care of the vehicle, put the pins back in, and roll it back down and you're on your way. That's really great, thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you.